Imagine that you wake up in a place that you've never visited before. Strange colors, strange shapes, everything reacts somehow. Where are you? Is it a government experiment? Are you in space? Abducted by aliens? Is it something mystical? Divine? Are you dreaming? Could this be a virtual reality? Where are you? Whatever you conceive about your situation is an extrapolation from the environment in which you grew up. You cannot conceive more than that. Whatever you hear, whatever you see, TV, religion, science, friends, movies, family, etc. will provide the answer for your situation. You will associate with what you already know. And thus, we have discovered something extraordinary. The environment defines you. Therefore, we will try something nobody has tried before. To analyze the current environment and see if our perception about the world is based on something real. I want to call T Pot. That's what he wanted for. He's just healthy, so what? I got to have a healthy mind. What? Realize that the iron from that meteorite and the iron from your blood has common origin in the core of a star. Tell me what part of my brain is lighting up. Because that excites me. That makes me want to grab people in the street and say, Have you heard this? There are not yet obvious signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. This makes us wonder whether civilizations like ours rush inevitably headlong to self-destruction. I dream about it. And sometimes they're bad dreams. Take any crazy idea. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's hard to make up a very crazy one. They're witches or something like that. And you tell about what people used to believe in witches. And of course, nobody believes in witches now. And you say, how could they believe in witches? Then you turn around and say, uh, let's see, what witches do we believe in them? Large brain, making tools. Make tools, large brain. Large brain, make better tools. Talk, have to link language. You take this, put in here. We learned language. The brain got bigger than language. We grew. We had great gifts. And we gave it up all up for both men, uh, for both money and uh, God. The world is like a ride at an amusement park, and when you choose to go on it, you think it's real, because that's how powerful our minds are. And the ride goes up and down and round and round. It has thrills and chills, and it's very brightly colored, and it's very loud, and it's fun for a while. Some people have been on the ride for a long time, and they begin to question, is this real, or is this just a ride? What we are trying in all these discussions and talks here is to see if we cannot radically bring about a transformation of the mind. Not accept things as they are. Nor revolt 
Le bolle da stanze e fin. But to understand it, to go into it, to examine it, give your heart and your mind everything that you have to find out. look in outer space for alien life, we don't look for little green men. We look for type 1, type 2, and type 3 civilizations. A type 1 civilization has harnessed the planetary power. They control earthquakes, the weather, volcanoes. They have cities on the ocean. Anything planetary, they control. That's type 1. A type 2 civilization is stellar. They've exhausted the power of a planet, and they get their energy directly from their mother star. They just don't get a suntan on a weekend, they use solar flares. They use the power of the sun itself to energize their huge machines. Eventually they exhaust the power of a star and they go galactic. They harness the power of billions of stars within a galaxy. Now what are we on this scale? We are type zero. We don't even rate on this scale. We get our energy from, not from stars or galaxies, we get our energy from dead plants, oil and coal. Now, every time I read the newspaper, I see evidence of this historic transition from type zero to type one. And I am privileged to be alive in the most important era in the history of the human race, the transition from type zero to type one. I read the newspaper and I see evidence of this everywhere. And so this transition is perhaps the most important transition of all time. Some people don't want it. They fear this transition because this transition is to a planetary civilization tolerant of many cultures. This transition is also the most important because it's not clear if we're going to make it. When we look at outer space, we see no evidence of type 1, 2, or 3 anywhere. No evidence whatsoever. The mathematics say that there should be thousands of type 1, 2, and 3 civilizations in the galaxy, we see no evidence of any whatsoever. And why is that? Because the transition from type 0 to type 1 is the most dangerous of all transitions. We may not make it. It's a race against time. 